Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. There are some people outside my apartment. They are washing the windows. They have one of those big things with a platform that goes like three stories high and there's a big hose and... Yeah, there's a lot of water and it's literally right outside my apartment at this moment in time as I'm talking into this microphone. So while this may be a terrible time to record this video, it's been like this for the past few hours. So I'm just gonna say screw it, we gotta talk about it. Let's talk about the Vancouver Canucks newest signee, Pia Sutar, and this is a player that I like a lot. Vancouver announced that they have signed him to a two-year contract with a $1.6 million AAV, and for my immediate sort of instinct right there, I saw this deal went down, I was like, yeah, I like it. Pia Suttar, if you go over to his profile, he is a former Detroit Red Wing, and part of the reason why him being a Red Wing is important is because he played in the OHL alongside of some other Red Wings at the same time. So if you go over to the Guelph Storm in 1415, you could see that Pia Suttar was there with Bertuzzi, he was there with Fabri, all Red Wings at some point or another throughout the next few years. So Sutar, despite making his debut with the Chicago Blackhawks, actually was a Red Wing for the past two seasons. 36 points in 82 games played in 21-22, 24 points in 79 games played in this most recent season. He became a free agent, the Red Wings didn't re-sign him, now he's in Vancouver on a cheap deal for two years. What you're expecting out of this guy is very solid middle to bottom six play. This is not going to be a player that is going to overtake the roles of Elias Pettersson or JT Miller. But Suttar, as a guy who can play center, is going to probably be bouncing around in the bottom two lines alongside of Teddy Bluger. And right away, that's a pretty big upgrade over what the Vancouver Canucks had last season. Let's go over to the Canucks and their 22-23 roster, just because we can actually articulate our point a bit better here. So, last season, the Canucks had guys like Stanika and Niels Oman and Lane Peterson in rough spots throughout the lineup. Now, I know Peterson or Lane Peterson, was actually playing with Elias Peterson for a time. But the bottom two center positions for Vancouver, even with Dakota Joshua out there, these were positions where you could debate the Canucks could have improved on. Dakota Joshua, I feel like he actually excelled a little bit better as a winger. And then you have other guys like Sheldon Dries. I mean, he's an AHL caliber player. Jack Studnika, I didn't really think was all too great. So having guys like Teddy Bluger and Pia Suttar coming in here who are legitimate NHL talents and who have produced at 30-ish, 20 to 30 point paces in the past, this improves the bottom of the Vancouver Canucks lineup. This makes their team a lot more stable throughout. You have your top end talents in Petey and Miller. You have the top end wingers. And then you have the bottom tier guys that can actually go out there and do some damage. Pia Sutar, alongside of a Niels Hoaglander, for example, you're probably going to get some pretty good stable play out of that. He's 27 years old, 5'11", 174, left-handed center, so this is a pretty solid get for the Vancouver Canucks, especially for only $1.6 mil dollars, or million dollars, excuse me, for the next two seasons. That's a pretty good contract, in my opinion, especially for a player who provides a good stable type of profile in the bottom of the lineup here. You talk about the guys that the Vancouver Canucks have had in their bottom six, like the Tyler Motts, the really good ones that actually make an impact and aren't just bums out there that go out there and just eat minutes. This is one of the good ones, and I definitely did like what I saw out of Sutar last season. 14 goals. I mean, if you can get 14 goals out of a fourth-line player, that's a pretty good get, in my opinion. So, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How do you feel about Pia Sutar heading over to the Vancouver Canucks? I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry for all the pitter-patter, the noise outside my apartment. I have no control over that, and it's delayed this video already by too long. And, bye.